Hey everybody, I'm Brian with Easy Retriever Training and today I'm going to show you how I charge a clicker. And all I mean by that is how do I get, how do I teach a dog that this noise means that something really awesome is about to happen, that something is, is going to be worth their while and so they need to pay attention. Uh, once you get your dog to figure that out, it's going to supercharge all of your training sessions. The behaviors that sometimes take a little bit longer to train are going to go, are, they're going to come much faster. And so charging the clicker right away is really important. I'm going to show you with Odin how I did it in the beginning. I, we did this when he was a brand new puppy. I, I think he was eight and a half weeks old uh, after he'd kind of gotten used to the new stage. Uh, we brought the clicker out and started training him on this. And now I use it in about 50% to 75% of all of my trainings. Eventually we'll get to where we're using this instead of treats. Um, and, then, uh, and then eventually we'll get to where we don't need, to, we don't need this as much any, either. We can kind of wean him off of that. But this is a great tool to kind of help coax your puppy through those, those different stages and get him to the point to where you can, you can give him the commands and he doesn't need treats or anything else to, uh, to follow your commands. So, so let's get out there. Before we get right to the video, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. Uh, make sure the little bell is, is, there's, is selected. That way, every time we send out one of these videos about uh, tips or how to take care of your dog or training ideas, you get a notification and, and you don't miss a single thing that we're throwing out there. All right, let's go out back and I'll show you how, uh, how I charge a clicker with Odin. Okay, so one of the things that we want to do, and just like Pavlov's dogs, every time they heard the bell, their mouths started watering because they, uh, they anticipated what they were about to do. We're going to do the same thing with Odin. We're just going to, I'm not even going to really give any commands. And again, you can do this. Odin's obviously a little bit bigger, but you can do this with a small puppy. Just put the treat down on the ground. Hey. And the idea is you, want, you just want him to associate this noise with treats. Good oh boy. Good oh boy. And this has all sorts of benefits to it because one of the brain's functions, and it's the same way in animals it is in humans, is sometimes we get more excited about anticipating something that's going to happen as much as we do the actual event itself. And so when they hear this noise, they start to anticipate the treat, and, their buyer, and the brain fires off the dopamine and, and the different chemicals that, uh, that kind of fire or, uh, or ignite the pleasure center. So uh, once I give this Uh, once I once I get this down to where he understands what this is, uh, this clicker is going to be a huge uh, motivator for him. And then I can use it for other things. I can use it to teach him his name. So I can just say now when I give him when I call his name and he looks at me, I can just give him a click and then a treat. I can be like, uh, let's see if we can get him distracted. Odin, good boy, good, good. The other benefit to using a clicker is that I can reward I, I can I can reward the behavior as soon as it happens, even if I'm at a little bit of a distance. And so if I'm trying to teach him to sit, if I'm teaching him sit at a distance, then I can click right away and then eventually reward. But I haven't lost one of the most important features with with training, and that's timing. So I can get him to stand up and say, "Oh, good boy, good boy, sit." As soon as his bottom hits the ground, I can click and he's now anticipating the treat or the reward. And I can give that to him. Good boy, Ode. Good boy, Odin. Good boy, good. And that's all there is to it. The great thing about this is that you can do it with young dogs like this. You can also do it with old dogs. So we're gonna put Odin away. I'm gonna go get Lady and I'm gonna show you how I would charge the clicker. It, well, it's gonna be the exact same way, but I'll show you, I'll charge the clicker for Lady. Okay, so if you've been following our channel, you know that Lady is my Lady is my eight-year-old yellow Labrador. When I trained her, I used a totally different philosophy. I didn't use a clicker at all. It, it was some, I hadn't even heard of clickers at the time, and so I used a very old-fashioned, uh, not old-fashioned, but a, a pretty traditional approach uh, to training her. But I want to use, I want to take advantage of the clicker with her at eight years old, and so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to charge the clicker just like I would with a new puppy, and so I'm just going to say, "Hey, Lady, Lady, how you doing, huh?" 
And when you're doing this, you don't have to use any special treat. I know that there are some guys who like to use cooked chicken or turkey or other things. I just like their kibble. They're already familiar with it. They already like it. And it already fires for them, uh, you know, some, some, there's already some familiarity there. So, hey, lady, lady, good girl. Hey, good, good. And just like last time, I'm not giving any commands. I'm just, I'm just clicking and giving her, giving her treats. Hey, good girl. Uh, and so some people ask, how long do you have to do this? Every dog is different. You'll know when your dog is starting to respond to this because the clicker will get their attention immediately. Uh, but usually within two or three days, that should be more. That should be more than a, that should be more than enough time to charge your clicker and get your dog's attention with just a couple of clicks. There you go. If you have any questions, please post them down below. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe, ring the little bell, and then you'll get all of our tips and advice, all of our training videos. Uh, you'll get a little notification every time we post one up on YouTube. Thanks for watching.